I, I just want to start off before we get into uh, the meat and potatoes of uh, our conversation. Is uh, uh, you know, I've, I grew up in uh, R and B, and uh, that's my musical roots, and all my writing and everything that I perform is is been inspired from my childhood because when. I grew up in Toronto. We used to listen to the Buffalo Station, and they played a lot of Motown. They played a lot of Temptations, Spinners, the Four Tops, and the great Aretha Franklin, who this morning um, passed away at her home at a very young age of 76. Uh, she uh, was suffering from pancreatic cancer, uh, which is a very painful and uh, it's a silent killer. And I, I, lo- I, I, I loved her, uh, and she was, um, every decade, she seemed to reinvent herself. Like, um, she, uh, a musical icon, usually in the music industry, it's uh, the longevity, you know, it's almost like playing in the NFL. You're as good as your last hit, and then you fade into the sunset. But this lady stayed relevant right till the end, and uh, sad day uh, for music. Um for this incredible musician. She was a, a spectacular piano player, and, and an incredible singer, an incredible performer. And uh, she brought uh, tears to Barack Obama two years ago when she sang, uh, I think, Natural Woman. Or You Make Me Feel, yeah, 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 yeah that's the one. Um, I don't know if you guys are big fans of Aretha Franklin, but uh, her, her music is absolutely timeless. I'm not a big music fan, Frank, but I'm a big fan of uh, Aretha Franklin. I went to her show at Casino Rama. It was outstanding, and she's a beautiful artist. Yeah, well, you're very lucky that you got to see her live. I never got to see her live. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I was, I was quite impressed with her. And of course, acoustically, Casino Rama is one of the best I gather, and she was magnificent. That's what they say. Yeah, she was magnificent. Yeah. and you hit the nail on the head, Frank. I mean, we don't throw that. I, I don't throw icon around that generously but you know she is an icon uh she's timeless I, she was a work of art and and you know um she was known all over the world all over the world in every country well with a voice like that frank and with the feeling and compassion that she sang with i'm not surprised i mean that, that was one it was it, it was wonderful to listen to and every song that she sang she sang with her heart she she had some incredible hits, timeless hits, but um, her rendition of her major major hit, uh, "You Make Me Feel Like a Natural Woman." And anyway, she she was great. She also sang at uh, at uh, the Martin Luther uh, King uh, 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 ceremony when he passed away. Yeah, and it, it was spellbounding, um, iconic. The world will miss her. We've lost some great, iconic entertainers over the last five years. It's mind-boggling. I heard she was a big fan of Toronto, too. She loved She was. uh, I mean, Toronto, you know, is a very underrated music town. It's uh, some, you know, I I remember uh, going to a, a bar, I think it was RPM. It was a big bar just a long time ago, 25 years ago. And we just happened to be there, and we bumped into Brooke Shields, and Prince was performing. Just like that. Yeah. Like, you know, a lot of, there's a lot of great talent. Anyways, sad. Uh, my condolences to the family. Uh, great, she was a great, very private, very private. A lot of people didn't know a lot about her. Uh, she went through a lot of uh, tragedy privately. Her, her father was, uh, her house was robbed, and he was shot. And he was, um, you know, he was a preacher, wasn't he, Frank? I, I, I think he was a preacher, but he was disabled um, or suffered for three, four years after that before he passed away. Oh, okay. And it was just, it was just, um, she went through a lot through her, her uh, life. And it's sad that, that you know, 76 is, is a very young age now. Yep. No. Well, I don't disagree. You know, uh, and, and it's, it's sad.